Good afternoon and welcome back to Twin Pine Auto Group. My name is Seth Burkholder and today we're looking at the 2010 uh, Lexus HS250H. Uh, now, uh, this one does come with uh, some uh, extra packages on. It is the premium package, uh, which gives you the nice 18-inch wheels you'll see there. Uh, looks like brand new tires all around as well. And uh, just coming around to the back, this is not your uh, typical uh, hybrid. Uh, Lexus wanted to break into the market and really have the, uh, the first high-end hybrid uh, smaller car. And uh, they did that very well. Obviously, uh, Lexus uh, uh, is made by Toyota, which uh, came out with the Prius and really has been the uh, number one selling uh, hybrid vehicle. Uh, you can see with this one, it does not have the look or the shape of, uh, of the Prius. I'm going to run down the side here so you can see the nice clean lines all the way down through. Uh, as with any Twin Pine uh, vehicle here, we want to have the very best one uh, for the money. And uh, it is all about value. You can see uh, running down the other side, absolutely clean lines the whole way around. Now, certainly don't mistake it. This is a Lexus. So uh, you will find uh, plenty of luxury in it, as well as uh, a good amount of power for this, uh, for this car. I'm going to go ahead and open the trunk here to show you the space. And you can see the, uh, the blue surrounding the... Uh, the Lexus emblem that denotes the uh, the hybrid model. Now a lot of hybrids will have virtually no trunk space. This had a little bit taken away but is still very ample for uh, for a hybrid vehicle. Uh, you can throw the golf bag in here with uh, without trying to turn it different directions it will plop right in and uh, a few a uh, few nice sized suitcases as well. Uh, we're gonna go uh, go around to the uh, passenger cabin and uh, this does have the true keyless entry so all I need to do to enter the car is just simply put my hand in and pull when I'm ready to leave my car I'm just gonna simply uh, put my finger right on the little indentation there and it's gonna let me know that the car is locked and then again to come back just stick my hand in and open it up and you can hear the beeps just tell you that uh, that you're there with it now this car is loaded with technology, so I'm just going to uh, uh, start on the uh, the one side, and we're going to kind of go around the cab in here. So uh, on the driver's side door, you're going to see the memory seats here. You have one, two, and three positions. Uh, Lexus added that third one, and a couple others followed suit, but uh, it does give you the option for a lot of different drivers. Uh, full power windows, your door locks are on there. And then to lock out the, uh, the power windows for the rear passenger is going to be that button right there. Um, taking a look at the, uh, the front panel here, right beside the, the steering wheel, we're going to have the mirrors, uh, the uh, <clears throat> interior lighting, uh, turn it up and down for the gauge lighting. Uh, now we have a couple of, of other different buttons over here. It says Navi, HUD, which is heads up display. And, uh, and it gives you different uh, options you can work on there, in which we'll do in other videos. Uh, now at the bottom here, you'll also see your traction control and a camera view. Now this is a front camera, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Absolutely unique to, uh, to Lexus, and uh, I believe they were the first ones doing it here. Then you also see the, uh, uh, the gas, uh, gas lid opener and the trunk opener there. Now, uh, I'm going to give the car a start here, and I'm going to try to get back a little bit here. As you see this car come to life, simply press the power button when you're on the brake, and the car comes to life. Now, uh, with, this, uh, with this car, you do have uh, full tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel here. And uh, you'll notice uh, you'll notice this little uh, box right on top here. Uh, on the camera, you can see little pink lights in it. That's actually not visible with uh, uh, with normal vision. So uh, this is uh, one of the other features that it comes with, and I'll get into that in, in, as well. Uh, now, just going around the cabin, you have uh, full steering wheel controls on here. Uh, the left is for your uh, uh, audio and media. On the right here, you have uh, Bluetooth along with uh, voice recognition. 
and uh, and then your menu for the dashboard here. So I'm just going to get a quick shot of this again with the camera. Uh, <clears throat> with normal viewing, you don't have the flicker running up and down this uh, this display. Um, you can see there the parking sensors are on, and I can just cycle through the menus there: current miles per gallon, how many miles left till empty. Uh, the average speed, outside temperature, all the tire pressure on all four tires, and uh, then where the power is coming from uh, for my motor. So you can see uh, you can see whether the power is coming from the battery, the motor, and uh, right now as I'm sitting, uh, the the motor is actually not running. It will kick on if it needs that power, which is really nice and it's very seamless as well. Uh, just moving around the cabin. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, actually just one more thing I wanted to show you on here. Uh, this does have the tech package. So this has a couple very unique features. Uh, it has one called Lane Keep Assist, LKA. And uh, when I press that, uh, you'll see on the display here, uh, two lines come up like you're driving on the road. Uh, those lines will get fuller when it recognizes that you're in your lane. And as soon as you depart from that lane, it will give you a warning. Uh, this also uh, with the heads up display, and I'm not sure if we can even see it with the camera here. Uh, you, if you can see the zero uh, up on the up on the window, and I'm going to move it up and down a little bit just so we can see where it's at. You can see it going down now. So that's your heads up display. It's going to give you your miles per hour. It's also going to give you turn by turn directions if you like. And that's what the uh, Navi switch was for down here below. You can turn that on or off as a function. Uh, you can move the heads up display there as well. Um, so uh, just going around the cabin, uh, you can see the large screen. And uh, all your controls for that are on something uh, that we all use at home, a simple mouse pad here. Now, to work this function, uh, everything's uh, ergonomically designed. So you can simply uh, um, move your cursor around with the mouse there and uh, click on whatever button that you like there. And uh, everything can be set independently on there. Uh, very kind of user friendly since we are used to our computers. You can see on the center stack everything's set up very, very simple on here. So you do have hard buttons to control everything. However, you can control all the same functions with this mouse pad and your screen up here also. Now you'll notice three different power modes on here. You've got uh, uh, electric vehicle, eco mode, and power mode. That's all going to give you different, uh, uh, different driving options um, to uh, either get the most fuel efficient ride or the most powerful ride depending on where you're driving and how you're driving. Uh, as we uh, go up to the ceiling here, you'll see the, uh, the moonroof controls. And it does have a very nice moonroof. Now for rear seat room, this car has a ton of room for the size car it is. And uh, they also put little cutouts in the uh, driver and passenger seat here for the rear, uh, rear passenger's legs, which works out very nicely. Uh, you can see the center console here as well. Now this is a sliding center console. For those shorter drivers, you're able to pull that up uh, so you have an armrest available to you. Uh, and then you can open and has a, a nice deep storage area in there. Uh, going down low, we're going to have uh, the uh, uh, plug-in for your for your uh, car charger, um, whether it's GPS or I guess you don't need that in this car, phone charger, what have you. Uh, you also have a USB and auxiliary input for your uh, uh, iPhone or whatever you want to plug in there. And then also heated and cooled seats. Uh, this car is absolutely loaded with luxury. Um, you can see throughout, uh, they use a nice fit and finish, beautiful materials. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take one more look at the exterior. And you can see everything closed down. The, uh, the steering wheel pulls away for an easier exit. And we'll take one more look at the exterior here. If you have interest in this or any other vehicles here at Twin Pines, simply give us a call at 717-733-6548.